Attention gamers, if you are thinking about trying League of Legends here is what you can expect. The last game I played literally started with my support demanding I be reported, refusing to lane with me, calling me Indian with a few more words I can't say in the first two minutes of a YouTube video if I want to make any money off of it and then suggesting that I should harm myself, punctuated with a ton of pings. Now if you aren't a League of Legends player you may be wondering what I did to deserve such strong hatred towards myself not two minutes into the game and the answer is, nothing. I hadn't said a word in any chat or done anything up until this point as the very first thing I typed was me asking what I had done to warrant this behavior. My other teammates were also confused as how I mysteriously crafted a nemesis but these are just the people who you meet every game in League of Legends and despite the rest of my team feeling bad for how my existence has evoked this behavior, it didn't help the reality that the next 20 minutes of my life would be me playing in a lane that is designed for each team to have two players in it, by myself. But unlike my support playing a champ as cold as his own heart I try to salvage the shit fest by caging the cucks who have the advantage in lane and hoping their arachnophobia is too much to handle. Unfortunately I have less health than a chain smoking COPD patient on a transplant list so all I can do is cheer from the sidelines as the ruined simp king of the sweaty jizz covered finger playing Viego mains comes in and it ends in a trade but the support who is absent in my life is quick to comment on the result. A few minutes pass and I'm still alone in lane taking it up the ass like a ventriloquist just hoping that I can tag team match my tower in for a lucky kill but it turns out an exhausted leprechaun doesn't have the power at this point in the game to make this Soraka flock of flame so while I path into Narnia to avoid an Omega death rocket I catch up on my support's moronic monologue. To no one's surprise I lose the first tower due to the principle that 2 is greater than 1 and the most polite way to put this is that me being abandoned by a loveless degenerate bag of dicks hasn't resulted in an ounce of fun being had in the first 12 minutes of this game. But I think maybe I just have to leave lane myself in group with the toxic popsicle hawk myself and would you look at that our CC together actually makes for a dank combo when one of us isn't suggesting that razor blades should be tickling the other's wrists. I stick around the fuck waffle knowing that two low health mages are a perfect bait for some 2 IQ to match his 2 chain Silas player to come in with a donation to the hawk being played by a cock fund. And while I think this is what we need to get back on track my frosty douche bag of a support makes the comment if only we had an ADC instead of a little leprechaun fuck which is like a dad saying if only we had a healthy son when he himself put out his cigarette butts in my damn breast milk his whole life while my jungler who is the proverbial mother in this case saying it's your damn fault you neglective ass of a father and maybe I'm projecting but I'm just trying to show everyone the feelings that this game brings out in you as bird brains tries to ff proclaiming dog shit all while the rest of my team is getting caught and killed because because they were stuck entertaining this random toxic twat waffle whose chemically tainted personality is now affecting my entire team. I'm more dick than an adult films actress who just filmed a movie while Dusha Tibia is getting caught more overextended than a ripped rubber band. I rotate down thinking my Gnosis is fed and we will have an easy pick on the chasing windshitter but the dog apparently has zero desire to partake in team building festivities so I try to back out now having to deal with this bondage boy sex ring jail escapee who isn't afraid to chase because my top isn't gonna step in so the next time someone asks what it's like to play League of Legends, this is my best answer. That said the best strategy I found in dealing with an inbred incel is just to shut up play and know that the best way to unify players this toxic is by collaborating on murder. This is great you think we may get a dragon but for what this Elise provides an empathy she lacks in intelligence and unfortunately doing the golden girls routine at a time that sets you up like a lip pierced carp on the end of a fishing pole isn't exactly what we needed but you have to remember the golden rule that more cc equals more gg so even with the amount of bullshit league of legends nonsense we are able to win a team fight where nobody focused down their team's hyper carry. I can smell a comeback brewing and even though it reeks like what I'd imagine Gragas's sweaty gooch in the post-game lobby smells like because of my support, I'm embracing it. We start barren due to the gentle reminder from the angry orphan playing in Nivea and when the enemy team comes they get completely shut down just like my support apparently did as a child anytime he sought out love from his parents growing up. And while you may be thinking rab this person is toxic but you guys are stomping every fight you'll win the game anyways I'd like to remind you of the chronic illness known as Legatitis as you see an overextended ice bitch gets caught and decides that despite us overcoming the struggle that she single-handedly caused, she is now done and telling us to enjoy her loss because public service announcement she will now be sitting in base until the game ends. 
And that is exactly what that failed abortion did she posted up in fountain while we got grossly shoved in like a heart shaped butt plug so to anyone considering playing league that was 40 minutes of my life concluded in a loss where I was once again told that I should practice my knife skills on my own wrists and if you thought that was bad, that wasn't even a ranked game so let me show you what to expect by keeping the cam rolling for my next ranked game. Boom it's a Skarner support and if you are wondering what the fucked up Tide Pod swallowing dimension we are living in he announces that he is doing ultimate bravery which is some site that enables people to troll their picks and builds and he is choosing to do it as my support in a ranked game. Yippee! For those who don't play league this is griefing and for those that do play league here is the build that my Skarner support will be going and for those wondering if he is going to lose half his health before I get to lane the answer is fucking yes. But this game teaches you to have the mental of a monk because monks are friends with samurais and it's always good to have one of those in the neighborhood as I contribute by desk popping a few static fizzler ticklers into a few midgets as he slashes Donny third degree down to the ground. At this point as a league player the appropriate thing to do would be to take the free wave shove and perhaps look for a dive or just reset but someone who plays lethality Skarner support has different ideas and you can see if he was any more inbred he'd be a sandwich as he dies but I can't let his death go in vain. You are looking at a 2019 twinkle shit one trick with the muscle memory of a giga chad stuck in a hard stuck's body as I hit her with the flash what up bitch combo to even out the trade. I now have the momentum despite having to be bunk mates with this stupendously dog shit jungler but guess what we are about to save 15% of time it takes to get to our next item by switching to Geico whose sales rep made a surprise visit to our lane and guess who deservingly got that kill. Turns out you make one comment about how burnt bagel bites are overrated and one of them comes running at you to the point where you have to wrap yourself in a last minute condom to prevent getting knocked up and while my health to anyone with eyeballs would mean I'm in no position to fight right now. My certified dipshit of a support clearly did not get the notice. And everyone has the right to be stupid but this Skarner is really just abusing that privilege as the next play he's seeing how many of the enemy abilities he can collect while looking at me as if me and my 8 minute hard stuck ADC skills are somehow going to turn this fight so he dies of natural causes. But the silver lining to an ultimate bravery Skarner support is that you know he will be more aggressive than a hornet going through menopause and so when he gets his ult I already know what to expect and it consists of me aiding him to make room for one more patient at the burn unit because one just passed away. And for those of you new to league after a fight where you are left injured it's customary to leave but not this Skarner he marinates in danger like a fucking retarded ribeye as he experiences his fourth death in 11 minutes. Thankfully me being a magnet to solo queue Skarner supports has me stuck in an elo where enemy junglers pick lint out of their own asshole on top of a ward which means I can like it put a ring on it pop that bitch and go full blown alinity on this cat for a shutdown. And then because my monk mental is still in full force the 8-eyed samurai is back as I agree to sell him one bursty boy for a crisp 170. I lost one of my wards as I always try to keep two on me in my bags at all times because it's not like it'll tell me when some crazy cat lady is on her way to try and kill me but what I lack in vision I make up for in fancy feet so I escape giving the girl a shutty. But in addition to missing a ward I notice I'm also missing a support but oh no it's just silly Skarner being his silly old self. Then he decides he's gonna pull the whole run in a straight line at the enemy behind their wave strategy again but it works because Lizzie the lizard is in the area and listen one of the reasons I'm hard stuck myself is because I'm like Oprah you get an auto and you get an auto and nobody fucking dies because Rav can't make up his mind but then I make up for it with a quick Q flash combo and the best part is I didn't even die. Anyways it's 20 minutes into the game which means it's time for the Skarner who is now self-proclaiming to be dog shit to lead the forces into a 5v5 over which team gets enemy red buff and while I wanted to just test the waters and throw some static at people my 10 health master Yi switched his belt to wumbo and he she had got hard wumboed which left me awkwardly outside the dimension closet where my top was hooking up with their support. So I waited till they got out pestered the cauterized cuck about if he got to second base with stone tits but he would rather die than kiss and tell. But right when you are about to type a comment that Rav is improving as a player I want to remind you that I immediately then wasted the next 20 seconds of the game circling red buff for zero apparent reason because I had no clue what I should be doing. Turns out I was actually just plotting a good piece of land for me to stand on a few minutes later when I could see my senpai samurai drop his brain cells on the ground so that I could know a good place to big boy banana snipe a fleeing feline. 
And if you are considering league still after seeing the support in my first game encouraging me to end my own life and then the support in my second game hard trolling then I would advise you to look into playing Master Yi because this particular one is proving that even if you've donated your brain to science before you were done using it you can still pop the fuck off on that champion. Imagine what this Ari was thinking when a chicken escaped the coup then randomly flash glitter bombed and knocked her up as I'm just wondering because that was her last thought before dying. Checking in on how my lethality Skarner was doing at this point. But it's okay because their Ari had the same number of tails as she does functional brain cells and as a grown man who wears a foam finger as a weapon I guess the only action I'm getting is vicariously from the stories that come out of Mordekaiser's dimension sex closet so I stick around to get the hot tea. I was fed and feeling forced to carry if I wanted to see that sweet sweet LP but unfortunately for every death their support was giving me. Mine was saying he could do it better. At one point I grouped up with Nico identifying as a caster minion which was gonna be hilarious until she saved her abilities for next game and almost got us both killed in the process but it worked out and despite a 10 death lethality Skarner support we scraped by and won the second game. Blood sweat and tears just for a single win. But if these two games don't deter you, just know that Yasuo mains exist and they will always be on your team. Hasagi! Rav out.